What is up, guys? Copert here. Welcome back. I have no idea what episode this is, so I'm going to stop even trying to keep count. This is a new session. This I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night. My wife was yelling at me this morning, laughing at me more, not in a, not in a real yelling by like, you're an idiot. Uh, and, and how do you explain to her I'm playing this little voxel beast? I don't even know. I don't. Even, I just laugh. She knows me. She don't care. But uh, I am now, well, 12 hours later, I'm back at it. I'm, I'm hooked on this game. I just finished my Battlefield 3 endgame stream. For those of you guys that were there, thank you so much for coming. Uh, it's a lot of fun, man. My gameplay sucks. I'm so bad. I'm out of practice on Battlefield to begin with. When I'm streaming, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm all over the place. I, my focus is anywhere. But my priority is the interaction in the stream, the chat, back and forth. That's why you stream. So hope you guys had fun. I am thinking, why am I talking about Battlefield 3 here? I'm thinking about maybe streaming this game. Either, you know, this build, this world, or maybe make a whole other world. If that's something you guys would be interested in, if you're really kind of feeling this, now you've probably seen four or five episodes. I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. It's very relaxing, but yet it's exciting. As you guys saw, I had a little altercation. So to catch you up to speed and to catch myself as well, we had a little skirmish with, I believe, a skeleton and a goblin ravisher up the north there, the northern border. Uh, we saw a bunch of skeletons coming. This is that same night. I have not advanced. As you said it's late evening. What that basically means is it's not nighttime yet. It's 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 dusk, basically. Uh, nighttime's coming, and I expect some action. So I'm going to cut right to it. Uh, I've, I've been thinking about the farm a lot, and I did a little reading, and I might come to a drastic decision, but we'll talk about that when morning comes for now. I'm going to roll this, and we are going to watch and see what happens. If you can see, I have actually... Uh, had these guys kind of build a little bit of a wall. It's it's not perfect. It's not going to, you know, hold back any hordes, but I'm hoping that at least if they come up here and they get here, I'll see them in time to actually actually do something. So we'll see. Uh, again, I was just trying to keep guys kind of busy, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. I don't even... I'm going to go around, rehash a little bit, see what everybody's doing. That's the forager, Francis Bryce. He, he's earning to keep his name, but we're going to rename him something. I'm going to be going through the comments from the previous episodes as they go up. The first episode just went up live today, so I don't have any feedback yet. I can't wait to hear some, see if you guys are enjoying this. Um, but yeah, once we get that, we'll, we'll start naming some of those guys. He's out foraging. That's cool. He just... Oh, that's right. I have him on the other side. This is Puppy. Sorry, buddy. You oh, Actually, you're back to logging. No, no, that's fine. Excuse me. Good job. Get on there. We need some wood. How are we doing our resources? Woodlog's hurting. Food is hurting. Uh, I'm going to have to do something with the farm, I think, because I, I think I understand what's going on there, what's wrong. Um, and Ertzi is stonemasoning it up, those guys. Now, you see here, I got Polly, who, you know, Polly's my builder, slash carpenter. How's your morale, Polly? Probably not good. Yeah, well, no, Polly was, Polly's has been bad, but there's not much I can do about it. I, I have bigger needs right now. And I know I'm 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 hurting him. I'm not I'm not helping him. So here's the deal. Now I hear, I hear ominous music, and and I apologize. I don't know why you guys can't hear the music in my recording. I don't know if it's because I have it so low. I, I'll figure it out because uh, I would like you guys to hear some of the music a little bit. Let's just check here. See, I have. I'm gonna turn it up for you. We'll see if you guys hear some stuff. Cause in my recordings, I don't know if it just didn't save. You know, which is weird because my you know, my setup hasn't changed. It's it's pretty much good to go. But you see, the Ravisher's gone, but there are, like, right here, there's a um, skeleton. Now, the funny little story. Now, I came up here, I killed the Ravisher, I killed the skeleton. You guys saw that. I came back off camera, and I found out you can loot the bodies, basically. And what happens is you, you right-click it, and you get three options. It's pretty funny. First one is to hide the body. That makes sense. You don't want corpses laying around your city, I guess. Second one, I have no idea if there's disease or something, which I think there is, so that might be why you would hide it, basically bury them or something. Um, the second one is, like, gather the resources, which basically you loot them. I don't know what you got. I have to look through my resources to see if something missed. It didn't tell me anything. And the third one was load into catapult. How awesome is that? So I could take corpses, load them into catapults, and shoot them at people. And that's why I think there may be disease, because I don't really know why else you would do that. Psychological warfare, but I don't think they have that in this game. So, yeah, pretty pretty cool, pretty awesome. So, where is Diggs? Where is Diggs? Oh, yeah, he's over there. That is more of a priority. I'm, I'm, this is how anal I am, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, one second. All right, I'm back. I just want to start my timer because I, I don't want these episodes to be too long. Now, I'm going to be chopping the front of this building off, moving this wall back one, because I just want it all to line up nicely. You see, I kind of put some road in here. It's just mostly to keep guys busy. Now, let's just talk since I don't see anything going on. Man, I, I might need to, like, put some 
some torches out here just to kind of see. Because, boy, is it dark. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to bring Diggs back here. Diggs, I want you in the, the friendly confines. Puppy, you're behind us. That's okay. You are getting too close. I want you back here, sir. I know you got to get food, and that is a priority. But I do not want you that far out. I can't keep an eye on you. And skid kid digs. All right, we're gonna pull you out of here. I know that's what you're supposed to be doing, but let's put you right there. Break down that house for me. Okay, let's talk about the the farm here. This is a big problem because we're running out of food, and not only does it mean we might actually these guys are doing pretty good. Uh, does it mean we might starve and just flat out die? Um, but it means that we're not gonna get new people. So here's what I'm reading: wheat, and you see wheat is the one that's dominating our garden right now, right? That is actually doesn't go to your food. From what I've read, I have to do more in-depth reading. So what I really think, wheat is then, I think, eventually going to be processed, obviously, into bread and, and other food stocks. It's not yet. Being beta, early beta, they don't have that in. So basically, all the work that's gone into the wheat has been wasted. And I'm thinking I need to delete this so that they can focus just on the, the, you know, the food-bearing crops. So that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the forager. I thought that was a bad guy. So we are going to try, which uh, this could be a total disaster, guys. So maybe I shouldn't do it just yet. But, I mean, basically our food is not doing it. Look, right there. Boom. Everybody must have just ate. We're not doing anything, so I have to try. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can save the game at a point. Uh, no, they don't let you do that. So pretty much I could be dooming this 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 poor little settlement. But that is kind of where we're at right now. Because I don't see Look, furniture coming soon. There's not I don't see any way to process wheat, right? So let's see here. If I can well none of them are working on I don't see any way. And I read on the forum Water barrel, I'm not even sure what that would be used for, but I mean I don't see any like, there's no way to craft any food or anything like that, so... Uh, we're gonna give it a go and see if that helps us this way, like I said. Farmers will do not reseed. Alright, that's what I'll do. At least, do not reseed. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. This way they'll harvest it. And hopefully I can have some seeds tucked away in case I find out I'm wrong. At least I have the reseeds to replant. And... Theoretically, the theory is that now Polly, who I'm going to pull off here eventually, he, and, and basically, and, and Skid here, they can focus on carrots. Uh, flax is actually quite important. I need flax can make rope, and what I'm going to do is as soon as I get rope, I'm going to have somebody fish. I don't know if I can fish in a swamp or if i got to go to the river, but apparently fish are very good for food. Um, from what I read, because I did do a little reading now, because I just I, I gotta figure out how these things, the mechanics work. I, I tried to stay away from things like I still don't know when waves of enemies or things like that are gonna happen. We're gonna find that as a surprise. But I was obviously having a food problem. I needed to get to the bottom of it, so that's why I went and read a little. So puppy's doing a good job with the wood, but we need some food. But hopefully they can now they can focus on corn. They can focus on other things. And uh, all right, I'm gonna put another fire in here. So that I can see. All oh, right, I don't have him as a build. Eh, any builder can do it. Now, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna let them take up the wheat. We're gonna sit there. I will keep the seeds just in case I find out. You know, something's changed. Let's see. This this doesn't look. Is this. There we go. I want that brighter. Is that part of the problem? Stoke these fires, get them going. Look at that. See, isn't that cool? Like, just how the difference there. I just add some more wood and, and the fires begin to roar. I just, I'm loving this game, man. I just, it's so cool in that way. So, yeah, I, I started doing this. I needed dirt, because dirt, you need to make brick. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, I just had him dig out some of this dirt. I needed, I'm going to run the, the road all the way back to the mine there. No real reason. Uh, this is a uh, field stone, which only costs stone. I'll show you right now. So, I mean, I have tons of stone. I used to anyway. Let me make sure I still do field stone right here. It just costs raw stone. So it's, I have 300 still. So, you know, I have I have plenty of stone. So it was it was it 
it gained the guy some experience, kept him busy, got morale, so there, it, it was it was worth worth doing in my opinion. So yeah, he's taking on the front of the. Oh man, the anvil. That's right. All right, I'll have to build, deconstruct anvil. I have to move that. Yeah. Darn it. I, I just all because I'm a like raging retard about having to have things perfect. Oh, let's just let him take it down so it's not in my way. I need some more people. Like I said, the plan of action is... See, I'm not going to pull Skid off the farm. Here's here's what's going on. The farm has basically been useless. Skid Kid has not been pulling his own weight. Not his own fault here. But, uh... And, you know, right now, I'm struggling. It's clearly, you know. Not enough food. Next time everybody eats, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, hopefully, as Bryce skills up a little bit, we'll get some more food coming. But... The thing is, is that while Skid Kid really isn't kind of carrying his own weight as far as food production, I, again, not his fault, I explained to you why, I feel like he's the guy I could least, you know, afford to lose right now because he's, when we look at him, right, he's, what, level 5 farmer? Since the minute I started this game, he's been farming nonstop, no other job, like everybody else has flipped around, and he's still only level 5, which is kind of crazy. It, it, it is crazy, honestly. I'm gonna build another fire up over here. Get some, uh. What's going up? Good job, pup. Okay. Oh, I see. I gotta. I wanna put a fire there. And I'll put another fire over here. Just kinda. Give me some warning if these people come. Starting to starting to try and think a little. I don't know why. I, th I just do that fence in there. Kind of kind of silly, but you know. Again, I had the wood. Puppy is a beast log, log cutter. That is for sure. Wow, this stuff is taking forever for you to break down, Diggs. Cobblestone seems to be pretty pretty strong to me. All right, let's check in with these guys. Where are they? Polly's helping on the farm. Who is this guy? Ertzy, right? He's gonna go make the fire. Puppy wood chopping. Where are you at, pup? Are right, you still behind us? That's perfectly good. You are foraging. Excellent. So, I'll tell you, man. If if we ever get some heat from the the south, I'm gonna be in trouble because I, I consider that right now kind of my safe zone, and that's where I keep sending everybody. But I don't know, man. We're, we're gonna we need a couple people. If I can get right now, my hamstring is is food. It, it, it really is. Man, I hope fire doesn't catch on these trees or something. I guess we'll find out because that is awfully close. But there you go. I got a little... Now I can see a little better. I can see guys approaching. If The idea is... I mean, they could they could climb over here. These rocks aren't mined out into a perfect wall yet. And they can... You can walk through the swamp, but it makes you slower. I'll see them. I'm not trying to use this wall to, like, <laughs> stop anybody. It's just to slow them down so I have time to react. Because all I have to do is see them. I can press pause. I can, you know, press P on the keyboard, and then I can kind of give everybody commands and, and change armor and weapons in a pause state, and then let it roll out. But we've had one casualty, as you also, Mr. Nova Dragon. He died valiantly trying to uh, feed the colony, and he died fighting. But he did die, uh, and we've lost one person, which is unfortunate because I could really use that person right now. So I do not want to lose anybody else. Because again, what I read about this game is. Although I haven't seen it yet, it's very unforgiving, and I think as you as the difficulty ramps up, obviously, as you go further into the game, and one of the things I was reading is that you got to be careful not to acquire too much wealth. That's the term they use. I believe one of the biggest factor in wealth is food, which we're not wealthy by any means. <laughs> but uh, you got to be careful if you acquire too much wealth before you're ready to protect it. You're going to get all kinds of marauders coming at you before you're prepared. So I don't think we have that problem. But what I'm worried about is we did do fairly well on this stuff, like gold and silver and minerals. So I don't know what... The, I mean, I imagine that factors into wealth. So we'll see. Because if we were to, say, get attacked by a good band of things now, we'd probably get wiped out. <laughs> so let's just hope they don't do that. All right, let's see what's being built, because I'm not sure I remember bricks he's building. I just, yeah, I just have bricks going, because bricks are some of the hardest uh, substances in the game as far as I understand. So I just have Erzy doing that, just basically to XP up. And I, I'll switch him over to Blacksmith eventually. How is his uh, morale? Not very good. So I gotta stop switching these guys. 
Because what ends up happening is the morale's down, Diggs' is morale's up, because he's just always been a miner. That's always really ever done. There's something it says, let's see, it tells you here, this is something I don't understand. Profession changing will result in a complete loss of the current profession's experience and reduce morale. So, but I don't see that, like, let me show you, uh, Polygon, obviously, he's changed a lot. Him and Puppy have been the ones I've changed a lot, and, you know, Polly's still a level 7 builder. He's a level 10 carpenter. Now he's over here farming, so he's not losing experience, so I don't quite understand. Unless what they mean is, like, if you're 7 and 3 quarters... And you switch, it reverts to seven, which I think that would be. More, I think that would be fair. Um, morale, I'm not exactly sure what that does yet. I mean, it seems like they're a little more stubborn to work. They don't like just execute commands right away. But that could just be pathfinding or something silly like that. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll have to, you know, find out a little bit more as we play. But I could surely use a couple extra hands. That 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 would go a long way. But hopefully just telling guys, do not work here anymore. Don't waste any energy or time on, on the wheat because it's not bringing us anything. Then they can focus on the flax and the, the carrots and the corn. Now, I don't know, like, how how on earth... See, I'm stockpiling seeds now. Yeah, see, I want him to plant these carrots. Let's go. Plant them, skid. Like, these other ones, like a pumpkin seed, a turnip seed. Like, I'd like to get these all going. Potatoes. I think, I mean, uh, the only way I can see t for them to be introduced, because I don't see any way to collect them or forage for them, that that would make sense, but I haven't seen that, um, is that you could kind of get them as loot. Maybe one of these guys have some seeds on them. I don't think it really makes a difference, food varieties, but, you know, it would be kind of neat. So right now, the heartbeat of my colony, which makes total sense, is the farm. So, you know, that's where we're at. So... That's kind of getting you up to speed so far. We are late night, so morning is going to be coming. We're doing okay. These guys seem to be kind of staying at bay, which is great. I really thought we might get bum-rushed. You guys are probably laughing at me because I'm so, like, so paranoid. But uh, there's a guy right there. They don't seem like they've moved too much. And, you know, the goblin didn't really move too much either, just when we kind of wandered in there. Now, I wonder when the heck this fire is going to go out, but I don't know that I really wanted to. I tried to click it, but it didn't do anything. Like I said, I was up here... Did I say it? I, just the whole reason I went. I was up here looting the skeleton who was dead here. And just as he did, somebody... Let's see if we can... S I didn't see him before. It's not the skeleton, but there was a zombie. A zombie came walking off right into the right onto the, the land. So, at first I thought I got a migrant because it kind of looked like a person. But it, it looked like a zombie to me. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what it was. But it looked like a person, and it definitely wasn't a person. So, I really thought we were going to get taken down this evening all right here we go Polly is planting good see that's good let's get these carrots going I feel like this is gonna be important getting this shut down because now they'll be so much more efficient but I'm gonna wrap this episode up here guys I'm gonna like I told you guys uh, as we're getting to morning here I don't see any attack coming as I play I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna upload some things I'm gonna try to let some time pass until something important happens to share with you guys. But I will be recording. So if anything does happen, say I get attacked or something important happens, I will have that footage. I will I will capture it for you and commentate it and you'll get it. But let's, I'm, I'm hoping here, I'll sign off here for you guys on this episode. Next episode you'll come and, and maybe, you know, uh, a couple days will have passed where, you know, we just, basically I'm going to sit here and watch them farm for a while. I'm going to have the city kind of cleaned up. I may extend this wall, we'll see, but nothing too critical. But at the same time, I'm not going to advance too far ahead for you guys, but I don't want you to have to sit here and just kind of watch me watch them garden. <laughs> so, otherwise guys, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're enjoying the game. If I hear any news about the game, as far as, you know, like, public release and things like that, I would definitely share that with you guys, for those of you that may be interested in checking it out for a much cheaper price than what this idiot paid for it. But so far, I don't regret it. I'm enjoying it. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. I haven't even gotten in deep to the engine and, and the possibilities yet, and it is just a beta, so just about anything is possible. So, otherwise, guys, I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It lets me know you want to see more, and I will talk to you later, guys. Take care.